Hey there, my name is Chris Acton with Acton Creative, and this is a handwoven experience, episode 86. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about X's and O's. So let me start with some context. This is a weaving draft, and a weaving draft has multiple different components to it. You'll find the rows across the top are your instructions for how to thread your heddles. The columns down the side are your instructions for how to weave the fabric. There's typically a sample in the middle to show you what the fabric will look like. But today, we're gonna focus on that little tic-tac-toe board where the rows and the columns intersect, which is your instruction for your tie-ups. Now, just a refresher, the tie-ups refer to the connection between the treadles, the pedals down below, and your shafts. So the beauty of a loom like this is that one treadle can move more than one shaft, right? And that is what your tie-ups tell you to do. That's, they give you instructions for which treadle is connected to which shafts. Okay, you're with me so far? So as you're looking at drafts, various drafts, you may find that in the tie-up portion, you'll see X's or O's. And you may be thinking, but isn't that just the preference of the person who wrote the draft? It's actually not. That gives you a little clue as to what type of loom they are writing the draft for. And here's what I mean. If you see an X in that section of the uh, tie-ups, it is written for a sinking shaft loom or sinking shed. <laughs> or if you see an O, that is written for someone who has a rising shed loom. Now, I have a rising shed loom. It's a jack loom, which means that when I put my foot on the treadle down below, my shafts lift. Rising shed, right? Now, there's many other styles in of looms in the world where it does just the opposite, where the shafts then will drop down. So, when you look at the tie-up section and you see X's and O's, that helps clue you in as to who it is written for. Now, I heard this great little trick to remembering which is which. I take zero credit for this, but it goes like this. If you see an O, think of a balloon that lifts, rising shed. Or if you see an X, think of an anchor that drops down, a sinking shed. Brilliant, right? I take zero credit for that, but it is a little trick that I use all the time to keep straight which is which. So now you may be thinking, okay, I follow all that. What does that have to do with me? Really? So as you're looking at a draft, what do you do if the draft is written for a different style of loom than what you have? Here's my example. I, as you've seen this before, I love this book by Marguerite Davison and Marguerite writes all of her drafts for a sinking shed loom, which is not the kind of loom I have. I have a rising shed. So you'll notice when you look at her drafts, they all have, see the little X's? They all have little X's there, right? Anchors, sinking shaft, you're getting it. But I need to translate that to my style of loom. So for me, when I go to connect my tie-ups, instead of connecting them where there's an X, I am gonna connect it where there's a blank space just the opposite because my loom functions the opposite of the loom that she is intended for this draft here. So here's another example. This is one of my other favorites, of course, is the Ann Dixon book. Now, Ann doesn't do an X or an O. She just does a, um, a nice kind of a filled in square. But if you look at the beginning of her book, she clarifies that this is written for jack looms, which are rising shed looms. So if she was to follow our system here, she would have little O's in each of the squares. Now hers is written for my style of loom. So I will just connect my treadles to my shafts, do my tie ups every place. There is a black filled in square. I hope that helps. See, I know it's a lot of moving parts there, but I just wanted to make sure you're aware that an X or an O isn't just a stylistic choice. It actually gives you more information about the draft and who it is written for. So then, if it's not written for lo your loom, just modify it. Just use the opposite squares there when you are setting up your tie-ups and you'll be golden. No problem. X's and O's, we got it covered. All right, friends. Happy weaving and have a fabulous week.